Never gonna find your way to the crispy chicken sandwich greatness by not getting a little dirty. Slippery little chicks. Make sure you have that damn thermometer deep enough in there, not just the tip. Chick-fil-A is sending us on an adventure. All right, welcome back to Kitchen Captain. I'm Ian Walsh, and today we're gonna dive into arguably the greatest fast food sandwich on the planet, the Chick-fil-A Crispy Chicken Sandwich with a Nashville hot sauce twist. Let's go. And I like to use a second cutting board so you don't chicken up your entire big cutting board. So one on top, cut your poultry on there, then chuck this thing into the sink. We're gonna take our breasts, butterfly these things in half so they're a little bit thinner, and then I'm gonna kinda square these things up. Good little sandwich platter. I think the key so these sandwiches is a little soak in this brine of pickle juice. Basically, we wanna go until the chicken's pretty much submerged. And then we're gonna cover this thing to sit in the fridge for about two hours. Tried to research as much as I could about the timing for this. Two hours yields the best results, which is a pretty good time ratio. Okay, while that chicken is dancing in that pickle juice, we're gonna make our dredge and our egg wash. All right, this is an adventure. If you're just doing a couple sandwiches, I'd say about one cup of flour. Season it with a little salt, pepper, a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of garlic and chili powder spices. Give that thing a good mix. Egg wash, one egg, two egg. Tablespoon of the hot sauce of your choice. We're going with Crystal, Louisiana's pure hot sauce. All right, last step into our egg wash. One cup of buttermilk. I have no idea what else you'd use buttermilk for, but apparently it's gonna make these chicken sandwiches pretty damn good. That thick, thick buttermilk. I'm excited to learn the Chick-fil-A wizardry. Now we're gonna take a tablespoon of our egg wash, put it into our dredge, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, and we're gonna give that a little mix around. That's a whole other level to that crunchiness and that texture. Give that thing like a four inch forehead hanging off of it. I think that's ready. Nope, one more step here. We're gonna put about eight of these babies on each sandwich. Leave no area unpickled. We're gonna fry these crispy chickens in a skillet. So we're gonna bring up some peanut oil. This is some recycled peanut oil from another dinner we had the other night. Strain it out after you use it. Same thing, you can reuse it. Okay, now we're gonna make our hot sauce. If you want this thing to really light you up, you can use about three tablespoons of cayenne pepper. If I can get this goddamn cayenne pepper out of here. Didn't want to gamble like this, but we're gonna feel like any time a jar lid comes off. Oh, we made it. A little bit more if you want that thing hotter. Whatever your lips can kind of handle. A tablespoon of brown sugar, a teaspoon of salt into that, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and about a teaspoon ish fresh pepper, a teaspoon of paprika. And then we're gonna add about a half a cup of the oil that we cooked the chicken with. That way once the oil's hot and all the chicken's done, we can just quickly make this up. Chicken is out of the fridge. You can really see the color change in just two hours. Look at these tangy little bitches. Before we get nasty, we're gonna wanna turn this stove on to about medium so you can gradually watch your oil come up to temp. I learned my mistake the hard way and did not have my thermometer deep enough in the oil. Put some chicken in there on another episode. General So's chicken almost burnt my whole goddamn kitchen down. Otherwise that thing will show like 200, 300 and you'll drop a little chicken nugget in there and it'll turn black and look like Chernobyl flying up into your ceiling. Make sure you have that damn thermometer deep enough in there, not just the tip. All right, now it's time to get a little nasty. We're gonna take our chicken and do a double dredge. Flop her into our flour, and those little dabs of the egg wash that we added in here, add these little nuggets all over it. Slither it right through this egg wash. Good slippery little seal. And then back into our flour mixture. 
Don't be shy, you're gonna get a little dirty. It is what it is. You're never gonna find your way to the crispy chicken sandwich greatness by not getting a little dirty. I'm getting really hungry just thinking about these sandwiches. So those three tablespoons of the egg wash that we put into our dredge, that will add a whole nother texture. I'm trying to get to that upper stratosphere in crispy chicken sandwich. Okay, our oil is hot. We're aiming for about 325 to 350. So we're aiming for probably like four on each side and give them a few turns until they get nice and golden brown. Then we'll check the internal temp, make sure it's about 157, 158. In the time that they rest, the temp will come up. We kind of want 165 internal temp on these chickens. And if you have a couple slippery chickens, you might want to wear like construction boots or shoes while you do this, because you do not want an oil flop onto the top of the foot. After I first put them in, I've kind of learned that if I let it fry for a bit before even tinkering with that thing at all, don't get finicky. You just leave it, let it cook. It kind of hardens the crust and, and crisps it up really well. So when you flip it over, you're not pulling off any of the crust and all that good crispiness. Toast up our buns. Just do a final check on our chicken. Okay, now we're gonna take our spice mixture for our hot sauce and we're gonna add a half a cup of the oil we just fried the chicken with. Whisk is dirty, we're going to the fork. Not all of this is gonna dissolve. But we're gonna do our best. Side note, definitely hold this thing on the upper shelf. If you try to palm this thing, it will burn the shit out of your hand. It's not gonna get that thick, but it is gonna add an incredible glisten to our sandwiches. We're gonna take our toasted bun, we're gonna very generously spread our pickles. We're not going with this two pickle deal. Crown selection. Give this thing a try. Take note now. Listen to this crunch. <laughs> that is so good. Definitely got a little zing from the cayenne. And damn it, that thing's got some tang to it from the vinegar and the pickle juice. Tangy little sandwich. I mean, I'm just astounded with how stupid I've been by not making this all the time. That was pretty easy. And this is insane. This meal is skyrocketing to the top of the list for me. Crispy chicken sandwich. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any suggestions for meals for me to stumble my way through. I appreciate you guys tuning in. See you next time. That is so good. We definitely took that chicken's pants off. <laughs>